So uh, I just wanted to get a brief video. Uh, man, I tell you, I am feeling the the effects from biking. What I don't know, four or five. Well, five hours yesterday. <laughs> man, I'm old and fat and stupid. But uh, anyway, um, if I wanted to talk about the first off, uh, the upcoming uh, next adventure is uh, we're going to hit up to the Yearling trail um now if you live in central florida you know basically you uh you can go down uh 35 get to 314 take that over to 40 you take 40 over to sr19 and then go north from what i can tell on the computer now i haven't done it and uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna look into that uh soon okay um i don't know i mean i'm, I'm i you know because I'm an old fart, I got to recover from that bike ride. Uh, it was huge. And, um, but you know, I, I enjoy it and that's why I make these videos. Uh, so that'll be it. That'll be a hell of an adventure and I'm looking forward to it quite a bit. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm a news hound and everything. I, you know, uh, you know, got to talk about personal stuff. My wife or my soon to be ex-wife, uh, she was over here all day. Uh, we worked on the paperwork together and, um, She's going to be taking it to her lawyer, and uh, soon the divorce will be over. Um, you know, I won't even go into all the details about that. You don't need my personal uh, stuff on the video. Uh, because I am a news hound, I, I just thought that uh, you might want to know a little bit about what's going on. The uh, Justice Department just came after the Oath Keepers, uh, arrested a bunch of them, I guess. Uh, to me, it's optics, you know. Uh, I don't think any of them guys were involved with the... Uh, January 6th, and you know, I think that uh, most Americans, uh, if you're not a Democrat, are realizing that that whole thing was a, it was a setup, man. I mean, it was a fiasco, and uh, you know, hell, I mean, you know, where's where's Epps? You know, <laughs> all the FBI agents were out there encouraging people to go into the the uh, Capitol building, you know, and uh, I tell you, I you know, so the the people that were responsible are, are not even being uh, prosecuted. And I think we still got like six or seven hundred Americans that they've been torturing in jail, and I guess now they've they've uh, tortured them. Some, I mean, have you ever been in solitary confinement? I have. Okay, and I hate to admit that, but and I won't even give you the reasons. But uh, it's it's torture, and uh, they've been torturing these people for quite some time. You, eventually, your mind just snaps, and I bet they're just uh, admitting to anything, and that's why they're able to uh, arrest the oath keepers. Um, it's, uh, it's a terrible thing what's going on in this country. And that's what I was telling you, you know, that's why I, I keep saying that, you know, maybe, uh, we're, we're heading to civil war because I just don't see how this thing gets resolved. You've got the federal government against, uh, basically most of the Republican states, uh, maybe even a few Democrat states. You know, I, I can't believe that the people in the Democrat states aren't getting tired of wearing masks and uh, lockdowns and uh, vaccine passports and you know you get jabbed three times and well I mean look at them they're they're, they're still getting the virus I I was just talking to a, a friend of mine up in Michigan and uh, and and she and her mom had got well the two two jabs and and the booster and they're sick as hell I, and actually uh, another friend up in Michigan uh, she's a nurse and she's got the two jabs and the booster. And her whole family is down right now. I mean, they're they're sick as dogs, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, so I mean, I think even the Democrats, you know, you know these these idiots. Well, I say that you know with a, a caveat, you know. But I think that all these people that were going along with what the whole narrative of the media and the government. You know, I, I think that they may just be coming around because if you've had two jabs plus the booster and you're still sick as a dog with uh, the Omicron, um, you think that, you know, somewhere in their head, something has to wake up, right? Am, am I completely wrong in this? You know, because I've been preaching about this forever. I hope I get the Omicron. I, well, maybe because I had natural immunity from the first virus, not the Delta. I got the first virus and I, I you know, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. I mean, it took me down for a whole month and I didn't know, you know, I didn't know at that time that, that I had, uh, the, uh, CCP virus, as I like to call it. Um, 
and uh, it was brutal, man. I mean, it was brutal. So, you know, but, but it, it just cracks me up to see all of these people that have been going along with the whole government narrative and that Fachi, pardon my French, fucking idiot up in the White House. That son of a bitch. Can you imagine earning $420,000 for being completely wrong about every gosh dang thing that you say to the American public? I mean, I, 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 I tell you, our, our government is out of control, our federal government, okay? Uh, luckily, I live in Florida, and we're free here, and uh, I'm looking forward to that, um, that hike upcoming. Um, my wife, uh, God bless her soul, I mean, she did drop the dog off uh, for a couple of days. Uh, good to see him again, huh? Don't you think? Isn't he a cute guy? <laughs> but uh, so anyway, that's, that's kind of what I just wanted to say in the video. I mean, it just... It's just going crazy. I mean, uh, luckily, we've got some great people moving to Florida. I mean, the Rubin Report is here, and uh, he's going to have his um, whole operation uh, operational in, uh, what, a couple, couple three, three or four days. Uh, right now, he's broadcasting out of the Newsmax studios because Newsmax is based here in Florida. So uh, any, any news that uh, you want to get, it, uh, it's basically coming to Florida to be based out of the state, you know, are we going to become a separate country? You know, Texas, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia. Uh, you know, well, I'm, I'm not sure I can include Mississippi in that category. They've got uh, some problems there. But I mean, you know, we'll see. I mean, it's uh, it's getting it's getting to the point, you know, where a lot of people are talking civil war. And uh, I mean, just the fact that the Justice Department just went in and arrested uh, 12, 12 Oath Keepers. Boy, I tell you, it's uh, it's getting crazy out there. But anyway, it's just a brief video, just to just to let you know what's coming up on the uh, on the channel. Uh, I'm looking forward to that hike, uh, and I'm looking forward to the divorce being over with. Uh, how I'm going to make ends meet, I don't know. I gotta I gotta get some sort of job, or maybe make something off of this YouTube channel, or whatever. But at least I'm in the house for a couple more months for sure. All right, you guys. Peace out, stay free. Let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free Republican, Republican state of Florida, where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements, no jab requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please and work where we want. Okay, there are no restrictions. We can go out to eat. We can do whatever the hell we want. If you're a Democrat, move the hell to California. Move to Illinois, but especially Chicago. Go into Chicago. Maybe you can stop some of them shootings that are going on. You know, go to New York City or New York. You know, that's a good uh, Democrat state for you. But stay the hell out of Florida. Stay the hell out of Texas. Stay the hell out of Tennessee. And peace out.